I was going to show um, how to do a very basic drawing in Adobe Illustrator of an isometric drawing. Okay, so this is absolute basics. What I'm going to go through is um, using the tool called Shear tool. All right, so I'm just going to open up a new document. This one is going to be an A4, and I'm going to have it as a landscape. You can have yours as whatever you want, needed to be. Okay, so um, this projector that I'm currently on is um, quite low resolution, so that's why this clip is quite low in res. Um, I have a um, group of year 11 students in this room right now, and they'll probably be asking questions, so um, far away. Um, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to do one face of, let's say, just a basic cube. So we go to our rectangle tool. You'll notice here that we have um, our fill color and our straight color. What I like to do when I draw in isometric is I just like to have the stroke. So you click on the fill and make the fill as none. Okay, so we just have stroke. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a, um, a square. I'm pressing shift, keep it in proportion and I've made a square, okay? Next step is I go over to my um, rotate tool and I'm gonna click and then drag. In fact, that's not the right one. I'll go to my scale tool, click down, press down and you get a, um, a, set, of other, a set of other tools coming up. Okay, so this one here is the shear tool, okay? Um, just so you know that um, those students in the background, um, we can hear what you were saying, even if it's in a language. Okay. Um, so what we do here, this box here is selected and we have our shear tool selected as well. If I double click on the shear tool, I get this dialog screen coming up. I'm just going to drag this across now to show you what's going to happen to this box as we go about adjusting these settings. So if I change my axis to vertical, I click on preview, nothing's happened yet. But have a look at this. If I type in here, in the, in, in the degrees, 30 degrees, and I turn preview off, turn it back on again, I've now sheared my box so that it is 30 degrees. Okay? Pretty easy. So, what I do now is I click on OK. Alright, now if I want the other side of my isometric box, I now draw my other side of my box. From this anchor, I draw out a normal box, normal rectangle out to there to the base of my front of that shear, like that. I go back to my shear, double click on the shear, and instead of typing in 30 degrees, I now need to type in minus 30 degrees because it's going to shear the other direction. Then I click on OK. All right, it's offset now. So what I do is I go to my direct selection tool. I just click and then I drag this up to the other node. It's going to, it's going to lock in place and that is it there. Pretty cool. And we just keep at this, doing this, this way. All right. Does everyone understand how to do this? Okay, to get this one here done, an easy way to do it is you go to the direct select, you go to the selection tool, you select this one here, press option, and then drag this up to the other side. Okay, go to the direct selection tool, move this in place here like this, so it locks in. Okay, and all I do now is I draw a funny rectangle with the pen tool. I use the direct selection tool to now shift each node into place. Like that. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do it, but this by far for me is the easiest way to do it. Okay, and there we have it. We have our isometric cube and this one here is a transparent fish tank. Okay. Is that cool? Any questions? No? Yep. How do you colour it? How to colour it. Now I go to the um, selection tool. I click on this 
one, this top bit, and I can add in here a fill over here, double click. I have this one as a lighter fill, yeah? I now click on, oh, now click on this side, it's gonna be the darker one, double click, and I make this as a dark fill. I can delete this one because I won't see it anymore. I click on this one, and I can make this one here a medium fill. Cool, I can even delete this, old, this one now because I don't need it, and there's my shape there. My final thing that I can do now is I can select the whole thing, okay, and then I go to the stroke here, click on the stroke, and I convert this to none. That gives me the absolute clean box right there. All good? Yep, yeah, that's it, thank you. For some reason I can't get out of this.